In this video, you will learn how to design a custom presentation that includes dynamic content in the Araya Creative Studio. Log into your channel. In your dashboard, click on the Content tab, then click Presentations. Once in the Presentations Manager, click on New Presentation. Choose Custom to begin a blank canvas. In the drop down, select your screen resolution. We will use 1080. If you want your presentation to be interactive, select this box here. Click Next. Then name your presentation. Then click Finish. Your presentation will automatically open a blank page in the Creative Studio. For an introduction to the Creative Studio, please see our other tutorials. First, you will want to load your videos to the Media Manager. They can be from your computer, or you can even search Pixabay for some free videos. Let's search Wind Energy. Then click on the video you want and it will begin uploading. Tutorials are available that explain the Media Manager in more detail. Now let's click on the Gears button to adjust the page settings. Enter a page name. Then close. Let's start designing by placing your logo. In the Media Manager, upload and select your logo. Then click Insert. Now grab your logo, reduce the size, and move it into position to the top left corner. Let's get a background video in next. You can simply play one video to loop all the time, but for this presentation, let's set up a slideshow of videos. Under the Widgets tab, click on Slideshow. Click on the green plus button to create a new folder. Then name it Background Video. Then select the Background Video folder from the drop down. Click on the purple Edit button. Now select the videos to play on the slideshow. The last step is to adjust the slideshow settings. Make the transitions longer and select the videos to fill the entire background. Click OK. Now size and move the slideshow to fill the entire canvas. Use the Layers tool and send the slideshow behind the logo. Tutorials on how to use all the slideshow options are also available. Push Live to save your work as you go. Next, we need to add a shape behind the logo so it can stand out better. In Araya, you could draw a box or circle. But let's jump into Illustrator to design a custom shape. In Illustrator, create a new document. Choose the Web Format option. Select Web Large. Name your page. Set up your canvas size to 1920 by 1080. Make sure the color mode is RGB. Click Create. Now draw your shape. Starting with a rectangle, then manipulate and create a custom shape. For this design, change the color to white. Then export the shape as transparent PNG file. Make sure resolution is at 72. Background color is transparency. Click OK. Back in Araya, you will place the shape into the presentation as an image. Upload the image into the Media Manager. Select and insert it into the presentation. Adjust the size and position. Nice! Now for some design touches. Let's change the opacity to 65. Finally, 
send the shape behind the logo using the Layers tool. There you go. Next, let's add a shape over the background videos to transition to a color at the bottom. Let's use a program like Photoshop to create a custom gradient. In Photoshop, create a new document. Choose the Web Format option. Select Web Large. Name your page. Canvas size to 1920 by 1080. Make sure color mode is RGB. And set background contents to transparent. Click Create. First, customize the gradient tool colors with specific brand color values. Let's go from black to blue to green as used in the logo. Now draw on the gradient to fill the bottom half with color. A transparent fade is needed for the videos to show through the top. Using the mask or eraser tool, create the fade at the top of the gradient. Adjust the fade if needed. There you go. Now save out as a PNG file. Back in Araya, you will place the gradient into the presentation as an image. Upload the image into the Media Manager. Select and place it into the presentation. Adjust the size and position. This is looking good, but let's stylize. First, send the gradient to the back, then enter the settings of the video slideshow. Every widget placed in your presentation can be styled. Let's adjust the position of the slideshow on the canvas so it is a bit higher. Adjust to negative 125. Change the opacity to make the slideshow less prominent adjusted down to 80%. Now under the Filters tab, many aspects can be tweaked. Blur. Brightness. Even the hue can create some colorization to match your branding. Style as much as you like, then click OK. Finish by sending the slideshow to the back behind the gradient. There, that is a nice transition. Push Live to save your work as you go. Next, you can add some content dividers. Using the Shape tool, you can create rules to divide content areas. In the Settings options, you can precisely locate and size your elements. Make the bar 5 pixels high and 1820 pixels wide. Now to center the bar on the page, position it 50 pixels left and position it 565 pixels top. Adjust the opacity so the bar is not so vivid. Copy and paste another bar. Position it below to leave room for content. Let's divide the content area with two boxes. Calculate the sizes needed so they align and fit best. 600 pixels wide by 370 tall will fit well. These can be a color, solid, or transparent. Copy and paste and align in the space. How about adding a title box to the section? A rectangle can be created in Araya or use Illustrator again to create something different with angles or curves. Import the shape. Use the text box tool and type in your headline.
then style and size plus choose a font. Araya has access to hundreds of Google fonts to choose from. A common element is adding footer content to the bottom of the page. This can be your mission statement, an RSS newsfeed, or let's add a scrolling marquee with copy. Choose the widget. Type in the message. Adjust scrolling options. Move the widget into location. And in the settings tool, adjust the font size and color. Push live to save your work as you go. Now, let's add a time and date widget. With Araya, you can place any number of widgets onto a page. Let's divide the date and time to create emphasis on the time being larger. Move them into position, style, and adjust. Weather is always a popular widget for signage. Choose the Weather widget. Note, this is a premium widget that costs extra. In the setting options, you can control it to display forecast, conditions, or both. Using each element individually gives you more control for placement in your design. For this layout, individual placement fits best. Move each element into position and style as needed. Dynamic content like Twitter keeps your information current. Let's add this widget next. Enter the Twitter feed you want to use. Adjust settings. Style and fit into place. Note that if the text isn't looking good, the Twitter feed needs time to cycle content before it previews correctly. For the middle section, a slideshow with content will work well here. You can add custom information like marketing and events. Set up a slideshow and import the content. A good tip here is to design your content to the exact size for best fit. A marketing team or yourself can supply new images at any time, and it is easy to schedule each image to play at a certain day or time. Changing the transitions to a flip or scroll will grab attention. Adjust the display and transition times. Finally, let's add a tagline over the videos. Type in your message, select style, and adjust opacity. Push Live to save your work and exit. Well, there you go. A custom page designed in a little more than 10 minutes. You might be asking, what about adding multiple pages? Can I make this interactive? Or how can I import page templates like company dashboards into this presentation? It's all possible, and tutorials are available on Araya's YouTube channel. Thanks for following along.